Hey, Ninja Squad, welcome back to my solo. Is it worth it? So today's episode, we got this cool amazon um, router here, and basically what this is, is a Wi-Fi router. If you can see the one that we got right here is from this brand, and this is the AC1750, and this is the mesh Wi-Fi router. So the dual mesh actually supports up to 1300 megabytes per second, and it is a dual band Wi-Fi. It has gigabit ports. It has easy media share option with a USB port in the back, and it supports smart roaming. It's also compatible with Amazon Alexa. And supposedly for product, there is an app for you to download, which is on the side. And when you guys turn to the back, they do probably got some more specs and feature about the product. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me just open it up to show you guys what is actually included inside first. All right, so once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. So right here, they do probably guys the actual router itself. Right here, they do probably got the info card with the password and the username on here. Right here, they do probably got the quick starter guide to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Here, they do probably got the Ethernet cable that you need to connect it. And last but not least, we do have the cable for you to plug it in to activate the product. And that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now, let me actually take out the wrapper to show you guys what the product looks like first. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So right here on top, we do have the antenna for you to move. And there's a total of three of them. And for the antenna, it allows you guys to move it up and down and left and right as well, which is pretty cool. So whether if you guys want to lay it flat down or if you guys want to attach it on the wall, you do have the option available. If you see in front power here, we do have the brand logo. And if you guys turn this way, you can definitely see all the output that's on here. So I do have a power option, a power button, a reset option, USB, internet option right here, and the ethernet option right here. If you guys want to connect it onto your computer, laptop, or anything else, and here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So basically where my hand is, is like the password and et cetera. So I do have to cover it up. But then see on both sides of my hand, they do have the option for you to hang on the wall if you guys do want to. And then right here in the front, we do have the indicator light that will light up when you guys do plug it in. And when you guys do get the product, you probably want to peel off this part right here first. And then once you guys do that, you can definitely see it looks much nicer. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now let me go connect it to show you guys how to connect it and show you guys whether or not it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so we got it connected. So we're basically waiting for the power on right now. All right, so now we got connected. Let's connect it onto the Wi-Fi setting. So the Wi-Fi should be in the back. So I'm gonna connect it first. All right, so we got it connected. Now let's log on to the app. So since I don't have an account, let me create an account first. So I'll tell you guys to create a new password. So let's do it first. So I'll do auto detect, next. And right here, I tell you guys to set up your Wi-Fi network. So let me actually do that first. All right, so it's applying the settings. So now it tells us to connect onto the network. So let's connect onto one first. All right, so we got connected. So once you guys got connected, this is basically what the app looks like. So you can definitely control like the wireless setting on here or the guest network. So if you guys want to set like a guest network for like Airbnb or something, you do have the option available. But that show you guys who's using the product and also the status as well, which is pretty cool. And if you guys click right here, you guys have all these different options available. But now let's test out the internet speed to see how fast it is. All right, so you can see the speed that's on here is pretty fast. We do have 5, 10 megabytes per second and upload speed of 19. So you can see the product definitely does work when you guys do use it. And we see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long. It's very easy and very simple, but you do have the option to connect it onto the app or you can use the computer to connect as well, which is pretty cool. And like I mentioned, if you guys want to connect it onto Amazon Alexa, you do have the option available as well. But I'm not gonna do that for this test because I don't need it. All right, welcome back guys. So now that it's a quick test of product, you can definitely see actually does work and should work quite well. So you can see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long. It's actually pretty easy. Once you guys connect your modem and set the router, then you guys are all set. In terms of the speed on the product, it depends on the plan that you have. If you guys do have a better plan, then it'll be much faster. But if you guys do have a slower plan, then it will be as fast. So you can see from the video, it's actually really easy for you to set everything up. And I love how to give you guys a pretty good coverage when you guys do set it up. What I do recommend is that when you guys do set it up, you probably want to put it in the middle of your house. So that way I should give you guys a pretty good coverage throughout your whole entire house, where to be inside and outside. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now that we become boxing and test the bottom, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want more need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality Wi-Fi router that's super affordable and actually works pretty well, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive. 
be you and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.